Robert Dre back at it, folks, out here in our pumpkin patch in the pumpkin field. And in today's video, we're going to show you guys how we planted 30,000 pumpkin transplants on nine acres of plastic and drip tape. So let's go ahead and get after it. So this past spring, we were blessed with the opportunity to purchase the 40 acre parcel across the street from the main farm. And the goal and the vision on this side of the property now is to move all of our production acts, all the stuff that we are harvesting, the crew that we have that picks everything and sells it to grow on this side of the farm and on the north side of the street where the main farm is to have all the you pick stuff. So like all the strawberries, apples, we have a small pumpkin patch on that side of the farm and all the berries. So we went ahead and dozed down nine acres of trees two months ago. This right here, what you guys see was all thick timber. So we stayed busy between Isaac, myself, and the, the folks that we hired to come out here and work uh, to doze down the trees. From middle of April to now, we dozed down nine acres, laid plastic drip and planted 30,000 pumpkin transplants. And they are looking awesome and ready to go. We have planted many, many different varieties of pumpkins and squash out here. We planted a lot of winter squash, uh, the edible squashes. All pumpkins are edible. You can make pies and stuff out of them, but they're different stackers and shapes and colors. And for our customers, for our fall season, that's what they want. So we went ahead and planted all kinds. I think there's like 50 or 60 different varieties out here. So there's a lot, a lot of different types and different shapes, but it is gonna be awesome. So the next step that we have to do here is drill a well so that we can go ahead and water them. So we went ahead and laid out the plastic and drip with the intention and the idea of having water and so we can be able to fertilize them. So well is next. I have a few guys coming next week to um, start that process, but the transplanting process is fun. We always enjoy it here on our farm. It's always a good time, but the pumpkin planting did take a lot longer than we expected. Missouri had one of their wettest springs in history. I believe between April and May, we had 26 inches of rain. So coming in here and, and getting the field of prep and planting while it was drying up to get the tractors out here was kind of a struggle, but we went ahead and got it done. So we are happy now that the plants are in place. It is a little later, so we're in the first part of July here. We like to see our plants a little more mature. We did plant a few acres early on, um, and then as, as it got dried, we laid more plastic and planted more. But plants are looking good now we got to watch out for disease and insect pressure and of course the moment we get water on them we're going to start fertilizing them and making sure that we have lots and lots of beautiful fruit that is going to come off these plants hey go ahead down
wearing the same shirt for the joke today, huh? So the way we plant all of our transplants here on our farm, we use a water wheel transplanter and that water wheel plant transplanter makes a hole in the plastic with that wheel with spikes in it. And on top of every spike above the wheel is a hole and that water, the fertilizer is leaking down through that, that uh, wheel, the water and the fertilizer with that dirt to make a nice muddy soupy mess in there. So when you put the root inside that hole, that water is going to go ahead and cover up those root system and get nice soil to root contact. That's the whole entire goal of the water wheel transplanter is to get that plant put in the dirt where it has plenty of uh, soil around it. You don't want any air gaps. You don't want anything that can harm those roots. You want those roots the instantly they are put in the ground to go ahead and start growing and start dispersing themselves in that raised bed. The nice thing about using plastic mulch on raised beds is that dirt under that raised bed is nice, fluffy, loose. It's your best soil you have on your farm, that top layer, top six inches of all that organic matter. So you're putting your transplant ahead of direct seeding in the ground because it is taking off in that high nutrition soil, very loose soil. And when you put that plug in there, it takes off right away. And if you guys can see, these plants are doing fabulous. They are growing. They are doing awesome. All right, y'all, this is going to be it for today's video. We have planted nine acres of pumpkins on this part of the farm here. We are going to harvest all them in the fall and move them to across the street where we have the festivals and the U pick going on. So you guys stay tuned for that. The plants are looking good. They are growing super fast and super vigorously, which is awesome. That's what we need. So this is me. If for today's video, if you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we will see you next time.